Hello, my name is Jake Stogdale, and today I'm going to be teaching you the art of efing, also known as hillbilly beatboxing. And if you take the time to master this technique, people will be calling you the dragon because it's going to be like you're spitting fire everywhere. The applications are pretty much endless, and if you take the time to learn this, I can pretty much guarantee that all your musical dreams will come true. Okay, let's break this down to its elements so we can see what's really going on here. The elements are as follows. We'll start with an E, which is the sixth letter of the alphabet. You just have to say E. Second element is F. The first half of the word fudge, which is delicious. Don't eat too much, though, or you'll contract the diabetes. The third element is... <coughs> like you're violently inhaling. <coughs> Just like you're about to go underwater down at the lake to beat your cousin Jimmy in a breath-holding contest. <coughs> the next element is... <sighs> Like the sound you make when that no good Jimmy punches you in the gut so he can beat you. Ugh. The next element we can look at is ooh. Which is the same thing you say when you see a sweet 1987 Ford Bronco with a lift kit down at your local drive-in. Another thing we can do, we can change the f to a p. This gives a slightly more percussive sound. So instead of e f, we have e p. That's when you really want to drive the rhythm section home. Okay, so let's take a look at how all these elements fit into the time signature. The time signature we're going to use is a standard 4-4, meaning there are four beats per measure. Quarter note receives one beat value. Counted as follows. One, two, three, four. How these elements go together is that we would typically have a vowel sound on our one and three beat of that measure. As represented by our elements earlier, the vowel sounds would be E, just like the alphabet. U, just like you saw that sweet 87 Ford Bronco with a lift kit. And uh, the sound that you make when you're cousin punches you in the stomach when you're trying to win a breath holding contest. Your examples may vary from mine. Those are the vowels we want to use in the one and three places. Typically in the place of the two and the four beat, we would use our f or p if you want to get more percussive with it. Really drive the rhythm section home. And then our eighth notes will be represented by uh, our violent inhales uh, those will be counted as ands in the measure so every time you go uh, it's going to be an and count 
So let's see how that would fit together in a measure. We'll start off with E. Second beat will be F. Then we're going to put an AND between the two and the three. Uh. So the first half of that measure so far is one, two, AND is how it would be counted. And it would sound like this. E, F, uh. For the third beat, uh. And then we'll pick it back up at the fourth beat with a F, followed by an AND. Uh. So the whole measure would be E, F, uh, uh, F, uh, counted as one, two, and three, four, and. There are many variations of this. You can do as many as you want. Be your own person. Experiment. These are the basic rules, but rules are meant to be broken. Sometimes. I know once I walked on the grass when there was clearly a sign posted and it felt great. So sometimes in efing, you can break the rules. It's okay. One thing I like to do, being the rule breaker that I am, is perhaps I'll start off a measure completely with eighth notes. I'll do a ooh, followed by an eighth note, uh, followed by another ooh. Followed by eighth note. Uh. One and two and. And it sounds like this. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Just like a brush ape. Like Tarzan. Ooh, 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 uh. You can do that to fill up a whole measure if you want. So let's go back to our first measure. E, th, uh, uh, th, uh. Followed up with the second measure. Ooh, 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 uh, th, uh, which is one and two and three, four and. Ooh, 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 uh, th, uh. Then let's add another variation. Let's go to the third measure. Coming out of the second. Ooh, 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 uh, th, uh. Then we'll start the third measure the same as the first. E, th, uh. Ooh, 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 uh. Doesn't that sound wonderful? So on that third measure, I'm just flipping it. I'm doing the brush shape sounds at the end of the measure and starting the beginning of the measure similar to my first measure. Really at this point, we're just copying and pasting. All the elements are there. The Eve's bags are packed. All you have to do is throw them in the trunk and then drive them to whatever destination you want. So for our next section, I'm going to set the metronome and each click will represent one quarter note, one beat. And I'm going to run through our variations. We'll do it several times, give you something to practice with. And feel free to take your EF to unexplored areas. You don't have to stick to exactly what I'm doing. But this will give you a good head start. So we're going to go on to the next section right now. Okay, so let's practice these things. I've got my sick beats set at 108 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'll count us off two measures, and then we'll run through these three measures like I demonstrated. At the end, we will have a rest note on the fourth measure, and we'll rest that entire fourth measure, and then we'll begin again. We'll just run it several times so you can practice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. E, fa, uh, uh. Fa, 
Let's change the F's to puzz. Something else that's fun to do is to vocalize your vowels differently. Instead of simple us, put a little throat into it. Let's see what that sounds like. Using the same pattern. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, go. Okay, that's pretty much it. Once you master the art of eefing, you can enhance an up-tempo bluegrass song by adding some sick beats. You can even bring out some raw emotion in a slower song like a ballad. Really beautiful. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank Banjo Ben for commissioning this tutorial. And I'd like to thank my hype man, Adam Ash who's been off camera literally this entire time building hype which is what has made this video so great great job Adam invigorating this concludes this video <laughs> I learned how to eat from my dad, who learned it from country music star Mac Davis. That's actually a really funny story, how that happened. You see, my dad got invited to a music party in Seligman, Missouri. Mac Davis was there, and he was doing a little bit of Ethan. And he asked my dad if he'd like to learn it. And my dad said, yeah. <laughs>